Hello, in this Visual Basic tutorial, I am going to show you how to set up a project so you can use graphical user interfaces, or more specifically, so you can implement graphical user interfaces. Okay, so for now, we've been, you know, dealing with console products, and don't get me wrong, I love them. Makes me all feel like I'm a hacker and hacking about. But in all seriousness, we need to, you know, create a new project. So if we just launch our Visual Studio, um, let's launch it up and then we'll create a slightly different project it won't be a console based project it will be a windows based project not windows in the operating system but windows as in you know an actual window okay so i'm gonna close some of this down just so it's a little easy to deal with okay from here just go to new project and then visual basic there's a few different ones so we want the classic desktop before we had console app we don't want any of these all we want is the windows form we don't want wpf we just want windows form so i'm going to call this form app and create directory for solution that is fine click ok And let's let this create our project. It's creating the folder and all of the files that go alongside it. And immediately you'll notice something different. We've got like a little sort of visual design element. This is the window that's launched here. So if we were to launch it, and it's just building it, and it is launching it now. There we go. And before you have to press Control F5 to do debug with, I mean, run it without debugging it. Now, if I just do regular start, it basically doesn't close until, you know, there's a close event, you know, like the X button, for example. And if we go to the right hand side and we go to toolbox, we can select a variety of forms. So we can go just to all Windows forms. We could go to, I don't know, common control. So we could add a button there. We could run this and see what we get we get a button that we can click obviously it does nothing as of now the purpose of this video isn't to you know create some form not at all i'm going to cover all of the different components in a separate set of videos feel free to check them out this was just merely how to set it up and the difference so we're all set up and we're all good to go thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next programming tutorial